Hi, this is Steve Garland, head wrestling coach at the University of Virginia, giving a match recap of the crazy match we just had with number 14 in the country, Missouri Tigers. Um, first thing I'll say is this, is we wrestled number 14 in the country, and there was empty seats, too many of them. Wahoo faithful, I'm calling you out, Virginia fans. Let's do a better job of getting in there, supporting our guys, we went in there and battled, and we're tied up 15-15 with one match to go with the number four ranked team in the country. We gotta have, we gotta have everybody coming out. It was a big duel. It was a lot of fun. Our kids had a lot of fun, a lot of credit to our guys. They came out ready to pull a huge upset, um, and it was awesome. And uh, so I'll run through right off the bat. Louis Hayes knocked off the number 15th ranked guy in the country, the guy who's been having a great season. Came right out. Louis and Jack, as I mentioned in the last video, are a one-two punch that we need to really kick us off every dual meet. That's exactly what we got. He stayed the course. He stayed patient. He got to his stuff late. Um, got a great takedown and then rode the guy out, rode his opponent out to start us off. So we're up 3 nothing, and, and, and it was awesome. Uh, Jack Mueller was the showcase matchup of the night. Jack is ranked, I believe, sixth in the country, and the guy he wrestled from Missouri was ranked eighth in the country. I believe that young man from Missouri is undefeated. He just made, got a major decision against Virginia Tech last night. Missouri just beat Virginia Tech in a dual meet last night. Uh, another great duel. And he's been rolling all year. He's got a, a laundry list of ranked guys he's beaten. And Jack went out, and um, it started crazy. We got a takedown. We get reversed. The next thing you know, we're getting an escape, and that kid's really good on top, so it was a big escape for us, and that kind of set the tone. Jack ends up winning, I believe it was 7-2. to two. He ended up icing it with a takedown at the end. He just looked good. He got a turn on top. He got two takedowns. I mean, it was an awesome match against an awesome kid. Um, and so we're up 6 nothing. And uh, then San Martino gets a big win at 141. Guts out a win. He, he, I believe he, it was the riding time point he needed to win. And, so, uh, you know, now we're up 9 nothing against Missouri, and life is great. We're going to 149. Sam Crevis lost a, a one-point match in the last 20 seconds. It was 1-1, one one, took a bad shot with 20 seconds left and uh, submitted the position in the front head, and he shouldn't have. Um, he's, he knows better than that. He's been wrestling a long time, and uh, <clears throat> that's a position I think... The difference in that match was not that position, though. It was the fact that we had three beautiful takedowns we didn't get. He had three deep shots he didn't finish. If he finishes any one of those, I think we win that match. And he's got he's to he's bite down and finish that shot. We would have been up 12 nothing. Instead, it's 9-3. to He gave up a major decision at 157 uh, to the number two ranked guy in the country, Michael Murphy. You know, he's fighting his heart out. He's wrestling um, a guy who's really good, a guy who was an NCAA finals last year. And uh, he ended up getting majored there. And... So now we're going to 165. I think this was the key bout in the match. Uh, we're, we're losing late in the match, and Andrew Axon gets an escape and a takedown. Uh, baseball grip pulls his opponent all the way back to the center, takes him down on the edge, and guts it out and rides him out and keeps him on his face uh, to, to win that match at 165. That was a huge lift for us, huge lift, because going into 174, their guy's ranked again. I think he's ranked second or third. Um, and then at 184, we had a true freshman that we bumped up because we had so many injuries at that weight class. We had a bunch of other guys hurt, and... Um, so at 174, we end up getting uh, giving up a major decision there. Will Shaney, whose first loss of the season, though. Shaney's had an amazing year. That was his first loss of the year to a great kid. He definitely didn't wrestle well, um, and he knows that, but he's, he's capable of much more than that, and we'll see more from him moving forward. Quick turnaround with Las Vegas, and I think you're going to see a much better Will Shaney there. 184, Michael Batista was fighting his heart out. He just... You know, I think he's uh, one thing about Michael. He works extremely hard, but it's about working smart and wrestling smart, not just hard. And he kept taking bad shots towards the end of the match, and that cost him. So we gave up two bonus point victories. 197, JL gets us back on track. He looked awesome. He got a great win at 197. So now it's tied up 15-15 going into heavyweight. And I, I don't know why the place wasn't rocking more. I mean, it's 15-15 match, and 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 our bench was all behind Tyler Love, and, and he lost. He fought his heart out, and he lost, and we ended up losing the duel 18-15. Um, that would have been uh, the biggest win in program history, the highest ranked nationally ranked team we've ever beaten, but it didn't happen. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. I told the guys in the locker room that close is not good enough, and we, we didn't bite We didn't bite down and, and make it happen. And it comes down to belief, belief in ourselves and certain guys in some positions, not just be, knowing that they're going to get it. And uh, so, again, credit to guys like Louie Hayes and, and, um, and Jack Mueller and the other guys today who really decided that they were going to... There he is! <laughs> that was funny. He photo about it. That was great. So that's that's what we want everybody to wrestle like. Where they truly walk on the mat, they know they're going to win. And so Travis Balson and Trent hit it on, nail on the head on the end here in the locker room. I'll end with this. This team doesn't freaking realize how good we can be. As young as we are and as many different crazy injuries we've had, guess what? We're still pretty damn tough. Um, we need your support. We can do much bigger things. Uh, I think we're going to be doing a lot bigger things 
can hear moving forward. So go Hoos and go Virginia Wrestling.